So I'm going to run two etch test kit tests today. Uh, this is our etch. This is CEI's CHA formulation. Um, this etch test kit can be run with any of our etches, CH A, B, C, D, E, or M. Uh, if you're testing CHC or CHM, the etch will need to be preheated in a water bath in order to properly run the test. Otherwise, for any of the other formulations, it can be run at room temperature. Uh, I am going to run two tests on the same etch. This container has been pre-prepared with a, a solution that will show that it will fail. This will show that it will pass. So these are all the materials that come with the etch test kit. Uh, stirring rod, beaker, small syringe, and 15 milliliters of one butanol. There's a full set of instructions as well as an SDS uh, included in every kit. Each kit can be run five tests. So I'm going to follow the instructions. I need 50 milliliters of etch. I'm going to pour that right here into our beaker. And do the same over here. Just enough. As you can see, it's a very viscous black liquid. That is what it should look like and it's probably what you're used to if you've used our etch in the past. Now the etch test kit comes with, along with the instructions and it specifies the amount of butanol that needs to be added total in order to, to run the test. So we're running CHA. We need two and a half milliliters total of butanol. And I'm going to speed up the process a little bit here, just for example purposes. We'll use our syringe. And I'm going to start out with a one milliliter dose. Okay, so we have one milliliter added, and I'm just going to use the stirring rod and stir. There will be some very small sections of a white or gray or perhaps even a light tan that might show up. Uh, if you can see in it from this beaker, because we had pre-prepared it to show what it would look like if it fails, there actually is some of that in that beaker. After a little bit of stirring, this beaker is already showing that it's entirely black. So more stirring certainly wouldn't hurt, but if the solution is showing is completely black, you can probably stop. So then per the instructions, we're just going to keep adding a half of a milliliter of butanol each time. And continue stirring. As long as the solution stays black in its bulk, that means that the etch still meets the specifications for functionality that were provided in the original SDS and customer requirements. Again, there was a little bit 
of formation. of some white or light gray spots, but after stirring, they almost immediately go away. Once again, a black solution, which shows, we're fine. It's gonna get a little more deep now here. For our last addition, and once again, small amounts of gray and white spots, but the overwhelming majority is staying black, which means that this edge passes. So once again, this one over here has been pre-prepared with some of the butanol solution to show what it would look like if it would fail. But once again, initially we're starting out with the bulk black liquid. the same procedure as last time. I'm going to start out with adding a milliliter. There's a little bit more gray here. But in the end, after some stirring, it reverts back to black. So we'll keep adding half a milliliter sections. Until we get up to the two and a half milliliter total called for in the instructions page. So here you can see with stirring, the black is going away and it's definitely turning into a gray. Sometimes it'll be a little on the tan side. Sometimes it will be on the white side. In this instance, it's more gray, but you can definitely see the difference between a passing volume of etch and a failing one. So what this means is that the etch that had been used would no longer meet the etch specifications that are uh, called for in our product requirements. That could be an instance of the, perhaps the cap was left off the last time that the bottle was opened or it wasn't refrigerated uh, since it had been opened. Or it could just be that it was on the shelf for far too long. But by running the test, you can check and see whether your etch is still good or if you need to purchase new. 